So I hear it all the time. Man, why are you carrying all that stuff? You're going to kill your back. You're going to kill yourself carrying all that stuff. So, hey, we got small pouches. Check them out. <laughs> start talking about the Mazo and the Clavo. They're our smallest pouches. This is the Mazo. It's made for a dominant side carry. Mazo, by the way, means mallet in Spanish, so you can think, hey, I carry my hammer in my right hand. Okay, so what's on this Mazo? I've got a pocket up here on the front where I can keep something like this knife and maybe a couple of pencils or nail sets up here. And you can see this actually kind of comes apart. That's so that if you've got this main pocket stuffed with stuff, this is not gonna constrict the pocket and it can still get its full size. Over here on this side, I've got a couple of tool loops where I can either hang some tools like this or I could attach any of our diamond back accessories like the utility sheath. So say you have a Mazo but you wanna carry a little bit more, attach some uti a utility sheath on here, an XL utility sheath on here. Any of our other clip-on products can attach out here, expand this, modularize, customize. On the inside, I've got a pocket, uh, got this, uh, torpedo in here, and then it's got a divider behind it where right now I've got this scrap tool. Up here on the top, I got four bits for my uh, a four bit bit index, keep all my bits. And this Mazo comes on our Maestro set paired with the Clavo. It also comes on our very popular Chopo set with an Eagle. And I'll tell you a little bit about how it pairs with the Eagle here in just a second. Before we get to that though, I wanna talk about the Clavo. The Clavo is our smallest non-dominant side pouch. Uh, again, it has this floppy pocket here on the front where this one's a little bit longer. So if you're carrying a chisel in there, we got a nail set here. I've got this glue on the outside. You can also put any kind of fasteners here on the outside. The inside has a pocket uh, for more fasteners or tools. And the divider here is for a mini speed square, or you can put strips of finished nails and the way that it's sewn down this depth and padded, it will protect those uh, strips of small nails from snapping. This does not work well with a full size speed square. If you want a full size speed square and a small pouch, look towards the Loki or the Eagle. Up here, I've got a magnet, and then I've got a single bit bit index here. Uh, you can either put up hammer holster or flat bar holster on this. The Clavo is in our Maestro set. It's also in our Dos Clavos vest set. We have a separate video up on that. Going one size bigger than the Mazo and the Clavo, we've got the Loki. The Loki is a full width pouch, so it holds a speed square. Um, on the outside, I've just got a Tajima 25 in here right now. There's a divider in this outside pocket. I've got a single tool loop here on the back, which will fit something like a combination square or a torpedo level. Up here on the front, we have our traditional diamond back knife and pencil slots. And then I've got this uh, piece of webbing here, which can be used to clip on something like a tape. On the inside of the Loki, other than the divider with my speed square, on, top, on the front of that divider, I've got two slots there that can hold uh, individual tools and then I've got two more slots that are here on the outside lip of the pocket so ton of organization in the Loki you can use it as a non-dominant or dominant side pouch and again it also works with the hammer holster flat bar holster and then I've got a, a magnet up here on the top and a single slot here for a, a bit or driver bit drill bit whatever you want to put in there Loki Two of our most popular pouches form the Artisan Tool Belt. The Artisan, the Denali, those are our two biggest sellers. So we want to talk about the Eagle and the Miter. Eagle is your non-dominant side, Miter is your dominant side. Eagle is same size as the Loki in terms of width, so it does hold a full size speed square. We got a second divider on the main divider. Uh, we've got a divider in the second pocket. We have our butterfly tool loop out here where you can put uh, in the larger one, a torpedo uh, or a uh, combination square. And then we have the smaller loop here for a, a smaller tool, um, <clears throat> spud wrench, something like that. And then here on the front, we've got spot for two pencils and a knife in our traditional pocket up front. Miter is gonna be your dominant side on the Artisan. Uh, we've got the drill bend that drill bit index here across the front. These, as you can see, they are pretty deep. These are made for drill bits. If you are using them for shorter driver bits, we encourage you to go find a dowel rod, saw it off and stuff these things down so your bits don't disappear. Uh, outside pocket, again, plenty big for something like this uh, chalk box. 
and then I've got a divider in that pocket. On the inside here, I've got a divider. There's three tool slots on the behind this divider and three tool slots on this divider. So you got six tool slots down here in the main body of this pocket. A lot of organization, butterfly tool loop on the back, pencil pocket, nail pocket, uh, excuse me, pencil pocket and knife pocket up here on the front. And you got a hammer loop on here. Uh, most of our customers do use the hammer holster and get it attached to this. So this becomes a place where you can either put something like a large pair of 10 snips or if you're using a secondary hammer, maybe you wanna carry your framing hammer here and a mallet back here if you're doing some kind of interior work. The, again, the miter and the eagle form the artisan, one of our most popular sets. I mentioned early on in the video that the mazo can be paired with the eagle and the chopo. Uh, they're obviously different sizes, but a lot of folks like the chopo because they can carry a full size speed square in their eagle, which most framers are gonna to wanna to carry. And then they still have a small pouch here on the right side, which carries all the essentials. So for ultimate light carry and framing, we recommend the chopo, the maestro, great for trim carpentry where you don't necessarily need a full size speed square and you wanna keep very small, very light. Uh, the artisan, general all around smaller tool belt and the Loki is also used in our right system that is uh, on a vest, not on a belt. For another video on our larger pouches, we got one of those up, and then we also have a video on our specialty pouches for electrical, plumbing, MEP in general. So, thanks for watching.